If you want to reduce your carbon footprint through your cleaning materials and consumables, but you don't know where to start, then here's five very simple ways. First up, switch from a water-based chemical to a sachet. Lugging all this product around has a huge carbon footprint. It's 99% water, so just use the water on site. Next up is all about single use plastic. Trigger sprays, which are single use, should be completely banned. There are so many positive alternatives. Something like this, for example, is ready to use. That just gets thrown away as soon as it's finished. Alternatively, you can use a highly concentrated product and get a bottle for life. That doesn't have to be a sachet. It can be a highly concentrated product in chemical form as well. It just takes dilution and you use the water on the site. Something like this is a super concentrate. This one bottle will create 100 one litre trigger sprays. This tiny bag weighing absolutely nothing creates enough to fill this bottle 10 times. And this bottle, one litre, creates 240 refills of this size. It seems ridiculous to be buying something like this over and over and over again. Use the water on site. Our next tip is to send these out less often, and that is done by placing less orders. How do we place less orders? Well, we use products which take up less space. Something like this, a sachet of soap or cleaning product, will take up minimal space in your cleaning cupboard. If you can get a year's worth of product on your shelf, then we're only visiting that site once a year, rather than every month or even more frequently than that. So switching to a smaller product, ideally a sachet product or a super concentrate, is gonna have a massive impact on the supply chain. The next tip is all about paper consumption. Mini jumbos and center feed are an industry standard, but they're a little bit antiquated. We need to control consumption. Therefore, we recommend using a system. These systems are designed to help reduce consumption and reduce waste. A couple of examples are right here. Katrin system hand towel, which only comes out one at a time, and that's a perfect replacement for Blue Roll. And then also we have a system like this one here, which is also from Katrin, which again reduces the consumption because it limits the amount a person can take at any one time. If you're using a C-fold hand towel, then I would hope it's in a basket. If a C-fold is in a dispenser, it's definitely not gonna be the most economical product for drying your hands. Why? Because that's the product that just gets stuck in the dispenser. You need to throw your thumb in there and put a whole load out at any one time. Something like this from Katrin, like a zigzag towel where it's interleaved, will be perfect because the towel self-presents after every single use, thus reducing your consumption and your waste. Now finally, we recommend using a company that has high standards when it comes to trying to be the most sustainable they possibly can be. We're running electric vans into London. Over 95% of deliveries in London are done by EV. And we also power these vehicles using our own energy from the solar panels on the roof. So whether it's source you choose or whether it's someone else, try and measure their ethical and sustainable commitments to our planet. So there we have it, see you in the next one.